Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're going to talk about our latest addition to our inventory that's available for you, the buyer, a 1960 Lincoln Continental Mark V. Oh my goodness, convertible to boot. Give you all the details in but a moment. Greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest addition to our inventory and is it a beauty? A 1960 Lincoln Continental Convertible Mark V. Oh my goodness, you're going to want to watch this video from start to finish to see all the details. We'll do a cold start. You can really get a good feel for this vehicle because it is truly, truly one of those special cars. Needless to say. Now you can also click on the link in the description. It'll take you right to our website, the pricing of this car, information on this car, plus have access to our well over 100 additional collector vehicles we currently have an in inventory here at Ellingson Motor Cars. And remember our website being www.ellingsonmotorcars.com. Well, let's get into the details of this really remarkable automobile. Maybe it's your first collector car or maybe your 100th. You know, we have cars all the way going back into the 20s, all the way up into the 2000s and beyond. But if you're looking for something that really is unique, I'll tell you what, this car in the 30 years we've been here, this is the only one of these I've ever had. 1960 was a big year for for Lincoln and whatnot, and they were, of course, dead heads against Cadillac, trying to have the most luxurious American-built automobile, and I'll tell you what, they loaded these cars with options. They made them just ostentatious, whatever. I mean, if you've seen one of these cars, it was generally reserved for someone who had uh, well means, I guess, financially, and they really wanted something that stand out in a crowd, and a 1960 Continental is probably one of those cars. Beautiful paint on this car, Cherokee red, just stands out in the crowd. And of course, you needed to have a big motor. Well, uh, Lincoln had the 430 cubic inch, over 300 horsepower, to tell the truth, to propel this car down the road. I mean, it was 5,000 pounds. That's an awful lot of sheet metal, and a lot of weight, and they needed that horsepower. On top of it, you start adding extras in terms of, it's got power steering, of course. Power steering, one of the most probably best options that you can have on these old cars, especially a big car like this, just makes for ease and handling of going down the road, turning in tight spots, whatever. Power steering, we're so used to that with our day-to-day -day cars today. I don't even know if uh, we would know how to handle a car if it didn't have power steering. Uh, also, power brakes all the way around. You got power brakes. Then they added some of the extras to this car. This car also comes with air conditioning. Air conditioning on a convertible, another rare option because it was relatively expensive for most cars to have air conditioning in this vintage time frame. This car has been very, very well put together. Beautiful chrome work all the way around. Still got the bumper guard things in the front. And of course, the full hubcaps with the big Lincoln emblem in the middle with the white wall tires, which is very nearing the end of that size white wall. Then in 1962 or three, they went to the much smaller. I think this really looks good on this big, big car. Uh, also has a hood that opens this way, the clamshell type hood, kind of an interesting feature. You always have to remember that because you look, where do I open the hood on this? Of course, it's an inside pull to open the hood. Well, let's get into some of the details on the inside of the car. Like I said, look at the quarter panels on this car. Oh my gosh, they're a mile long. And of course, they have the fender skirts. This has dual exhaust, always has a really, really nice sound to this car. But let's take a look at the interior. I mean, this is the way this came in 1960. Red and black leather interior, beautiful carpet, padded dash. That instrument cluster just looks like some kind of an airplane or something or whatever with the engine turned uh, aluminum in, the, in there, original AM radio, town and country radio in place. And again, as I said, it even has air conditioning. So on that really hot day when it's too hot for the top down, put that air on and it blows nice and cold. Power windows, probably a standard type thing on most of these cars, even power vent windows, if you will. 
convertible top is really unique on these cars. I mean, they really are. They got the hard things to cover up for aesthetics to make it look nice, but it's one of those soft top black canvas top, but it, the back opens, top goes up, self locks in, boom, within a minute, you got the convertible top in place in the event you get caught in the rain or something like that. Now, you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and now TikTok as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe. We certainly appreciate it very much and it'll give you access to this car, our current inventory, and it's kind of an added bonus. You can look at some of the cars we've sold over the last several years as well. So if you got time to peruse those internet sites, I think they're well worthwhile for all of us out there. The other comment I always make whenever you own a car like this, I don't care if it's a, a Lincoln, a Cadillac, a Ford, a Chevy, whatever, I always highly recommend that you join the local or national club as well because those are really good people for information. They can answer questions, plus the camaraderie of having somebody who loves the same cars that you do. The, car, the thing about this car that I always feared Think what this car would be like to take your driver's test and parallel park it. Oh my gosh. I mean, I had to do it in a 73 Oldsmobile 98, and that was bad enough. But this car is even bigger than that, needless to say. You know, Cadillac and Lincoln, like you say, were butt heads trying to come up with cars with more features, more extras, whatever. Talk about room in the trunk. You could get two or three sets of golf clubs in this car without even a doubt and whatnot but yeah beautiful interior all the way down i mean just this has all been redone power seat another one of those features that they had just one of those uh one of those neat cars that you know they were trying to outdo the other and having all those options and whatnot now if you're like me you're gonna say you know scott i love your video it's great it's good we do the startup we do a nice walk around you can find all the pictures we have underside pictures we give you all the details to our best of our ability but if you're like me come on down in person we'd love to have you come to ellingson's we are open monday through friday from 10 to 5 saturdays 10 to 4 as well for those of you who really want to get the feel want to touch it want to make sure you fit in the car we always have things we have to be concerned about here that uh, this car has more than adequate room for anybody and the back seat is uh, uh, easily can seat uh, three people without a doubt. So if you're looking for your first car, your hundredth car, whatever, and if you say, you know, I, I want to add this to my collection, but I live in California, I live someplace else, you know, we can assist you getting cars shipped any place in the country. We have certainly good contacts for that. Say you're going, this is my first collector car. How do I finance one of these cars? My local bank doesn't even know what a 60 Lincoln Continental is. I'll tell you what, we have several sources for you as well for financing and people that know what to deal with and they do know what a collector car is. Nope, this is one of those cars. Like I said, I've been in the business for uh, 30 years. This is the only one of these I've ever had and the quality of this car is second to none. I can't even imagine how much money they would have spent on the restoration process alone, just getting all the chrome work done and everything else about it. Beautifully done car in every sense of the word. So, well, I thank you again. Uh, if this happens to look like something that you were interested in, give us a call, 763-428-7337, and we'll do our very best to answer any and all questions you may have about this car, or any of our other cars and in inventory. Well, thank you again for visiting, and we always appreciate it very much. Remember that website, ellingsunmotorcars.com. See you next time.